Hello friends, welcome back or welcome if you're new here. In this video, I'm gonna start off with a grocery haul. I just got back from Walmart and I just kind of laid everything out here in our mudroom floor because we have this refrigerator and then the one in the kitchen that we kind of split things between. So normally what I do is get, um, I do two different stores. I get some stuff at Walmart and then mostly um, produce and meat and a few things at Fresh Time Market. So I have, the Fresh Time haul is not in this one. Um, I haven't done it yet. But I did get a few produce items and meat just as I wanted to do taco night tomorrow night. So I went ahead and just added that to this order. But anyway, so yeah, usually each week has two different stores, um, Fresh Time and Walmart. So, and this is Mittens. She says she wants to be part of the action here. I'm gonna introduce yourself, Mittens. You've been in videos before, haven't you? Are you ignoring the camera? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I've got some organic um, cane sugar. We switched over from like regular sugar to cane sugar um, for the most part. And so, been liking that a lot and then we were completely out of syrup so we got one of these bottles and one of the pure maple syrup I like the pure maple syrup the rest of the family prefers this one um, so I'm trying to get them on the pure maple syrup two gallons of milk which will probably last like maybe a day and a half <laughs> so we usually end up getting milk like several times and then um, these protein waffles let me get a little bit closer I absolutely love these. I am like a sweet breakfast person. I'm trying to work on it. So I'm really trying to, you know, this year really think about my health more. Um, so this is kind of a compromise maybe. <laughs> so you get the power waffles. They have protein in them. Um, I eat two of those and then try to do a little bit of the pure maple syrup. Not a lot. And then some butter. And then... We were out of puppy treats, which Mittens is like, where's the kitty treats? <laughs> and then my kids like these go-go squeeze, the girls do. Um, Aubrey likes to take them in her lunch. And then I got some cinnamon golden grams. My son just likes to eat those in his lunch, just plain like that. Um, sometimes we'll get like regular golden grams and put Nutella on them and then Nestle's Quick, a big staple here in our house. And these cans of cinnamon rolls, I've got those. And I've got these, um, my daughter, these aren't the healthiest thing in the world, but she does like to take these sometimes in her lunch. Um, I mean, it is yogurt, but got M&Ms on top. And then got the tomatoes. And I went ahead and, you know, done this produce in the order. Cilantro, avocados, going to make the guacamole. Uh, there should be some, yeah, lemons and limes. The lettuce, I don't know. It's a little bit brown, but not bad. I think it'll be okay if I use it tomorrow. Um, but most of the time, I get the produce and it's always pretty good. Um, and then we got cheese sticks for the kids' lunches got we were out of butter like the regular tub butter um this i got chicken and um they had like a sale on it and then their hamburger for tacos um the kids like this bread i like this bread and then another thing we got the dried or freeze-dried uh snacks these are kind of pricey but they sometimes will have like a deal on them and we love them for lunches now this isn't the one that I ordered, but they substituted for that one, um, which is okay. And then this one, so it'll work. And then got cat litter, which it's still in the car. I didn't carry that one in yet. And then that's just toilet bowl cleaner. So not a huge amount of stuff because we did buy a lot of food for Super Bowl yesterday. So we're still eating on a lot of that, but this will kind of take us through most of the week plus my fresh time produce and things that I get, um, hopefully take us through the week. So.
So without further ado, I'm going to try to get this put away before Mittens has her way with it here. <laughs> There's no turkey in there. If there was deli turkey, she would have already ripped it open. So we have to really watch her when we bring in groceries. <laughs> And now into the kitchen. This is the day after the Super Bowl. So I was just kind of cleaning up the last bits of Super Bowl party mess and kind of getting everything back in order again. I wanted to show you these. I got these um, spice jars off of Amazon. As I had over the years lost a lot of our spice jars. So my spice rack has like empty holes in it. It's got labels that come with it. Little glass jars with a kind of a metal like lid. But they fit nicely right in the spice jar rack that I've had for, man, I think it was a wedding gift. So it's been a long time. So I'm excited to get all new spices in there and get those put away. So I'm trying to give myself a little challenge. I've been so busy with everything. So I'm like, if, if I can just clean out one cabinet a day or one spot, like one drawer or something, if that's all I get for that day, then I still feel like, you know, I accomplished it. And then at the end of the week, it's, you know, looking back on it, it's like, wow, I actually did get quite a few things done. So I started with this cabinet here. This one is definitely one of the cabinets that gets used like every day, all day long. So it gets in quite a mess quickly. So I really wanted to tackle it first and just kind of get it all nice and clean and organized. And hopefully it'll stay for a little while anyway.
Oh, it's feeling so much better. That basket there, I'll put my tea bags in when I get them. And oh, it just, so much more organized, just gives me like peace, um, less anxiety. Hopefully we'll make it easier to find things and things won't be like falling out on the floor when we open these drawers. Thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you all in the next one. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and God bless.